Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Uh, the last time I cooked a samba prawn, some people actually told me the appa, if you, if you cook the prawn together with the shell itself, then uh, the, the flavor won't eat in, we won't really eat into the prawn itself. That's good. Lah, eh? So today, Appa is going to try to cook it without shell. Yeah? Actually, this is one pack of frozen prawn I bought, uh, which is already the shell. So, see how it goes. Now, uh, I've already washed it. Yeah, wash it here. How much do we have here? Uh? Maybe 500 gram around there. Quite a lot, actually. Uh, then, I have like, to be very honest, today why I choose to make this dish is mainly because I, I found that I have some remaining a big red chili that's almost going to be uh, uh, to become uh, not so fresh. <laughs> so I try to clear my fridge. This is probably about six seven pieces of big chili here. Why I use fresh chili to make sambal always is because uh, fresh chili is much more easier to control spiciness. Dried chili usually very hard to control the spiciness, as meaning. A lot of dried chili outside that you can find, especially in Malaysia, too spicy. Uh, not too spicy for Appa, but too spicy for my family. So, from um, after several trying, then I, I gave up. I, I, I always try to use big red chili, so that a uh, fresh one, uh, so that it's not spicy at all. Then we give it a few cloves of garlic and also some uh, shallot, yeah? And uh, of course, you want to put in some uh, uh, toasted Blachan powder. I got this from supermarket. Very easy. Just go and get it. You can no particular. Many people ask me what kind of toasted toasted uh, blachan powder is Appa using. Seriously, I got no preference. I go to supermarket. I find. I see any brand. I just take it. And this one is something very interesting. This is my Appa's uh, new um, uh, vegetarian mushroom powder. Very interesting. Made by Japanese shiitake mushroom. So I'm going to put this in. Uh, if you if you have um, uh, my, my uh, chicken powder also, you can put that in also, no problem. So, right, so we put everything inside the chopper. My chopper very cheap only. I think this chopper is only 100 plus ringgit. It's from Kenwood. You all can get, and get it online also, can or any uh, shops, electrical shops. I like it because it has two blades, so very powerful for this price. Then we are going to give it a little bit of water to ease the blending process. Not too much, yeah. See, uh, I don't mind to blend it a little bit further, uh, but it's a little bit too dry, so I will probably add in a little bit more water here, and we will push down. Let's give it another few more seconds. That should be it. Okay, a little bit like the chicken uh, chili paste. Yeah, the Hainan chicken chili paste. Now, before you fry the prawn, uh, you can check if you find your prawn, some prawns will come with uh, one layer of uh, sliminess. If you have that, you I would suggest you to probably blanch it first before you, you put it inside your sambal, or you uh, can deep fry it. Okay, either way. Uh, today, Appa don't find the sliminess at all, so I think I can use it straight away. Alright, I have put in the sambal, uh, blended sambal into my wok. And then we are going to put in some oil. We can put in a little bit more oil, no problem. And we will raise the heat and we are going to make the sambal first, yeah? We will probably have to uh, saute the sambal for about, I would say plus minus five minutes. 
Already it's after about two minutes plus, and so, uh, you can see the moisture started to, uh, to evaporate the water just now. Uh, I'm putting down the fire right now because I'm going to give it some seasoning here. Extra flavor, yeah? First of all, of course, you want to give it a bit of fine salt. A bit of light soy sauce. Some toasted blachan. You can put in some uh, Assam paste also. Uh, optional if you ask me. I'm not putting in today. Then I'm putting in some of my mushroom powder, veg vegetarian powder. Or you can put the chicken powder. Uh, what else? Uh, let me raise the heat. Oh, one more thing actually. You do need to put in a bit sugar. If you find it too dry, uh, feel free to actually add in some uh, oil. Sambal, you need oil, yeah? Try not to use too high heat, I'm using a medium. see the color started to change isn't it now it's like about uh, coming to four minutes of sorting I think another one two minutes it should be ready for my prawn we'll come back shortly I almost forgot I have some premium fish sauce from Vietnam <laughs> you can get it from Enviet restaurant if you want this is very umami a very high quality fish sauce. One bottle can last you for one whole year. How do you know your sambal is ready? Look at all the oil has, has started to separate. Right? So you see the separation of oil telling you your sambal is ready. And we have beautiful uh, reddish color here. This is the time we can actually uh, put in the prawn. You can fry it for one, uh, deep fry your prawn for one round before putting in here. Oh, so can. Yeah, up to you. Today, I'm lazy. Okay, now we are just going to raise the heat to medium high. The prawn can be cooked like I think within about one, two minutes. So this is not a very big size prawn, probably two minutes I would say. Bigger ones around three to four minutes. Maybe due to the amount due to the amount of prawn I'm putting in, it actually takes a little bit more time than one, two minutes. But well, it's almost done. Now it's like two minutes, yeah. Almost there. Look at the beautiful color. If you prefer the color to be darker, you can uh, feel free to put in some dark soya sauce if you like. I think, but to me, my personal, my personal preference, this color is good enough for me. And you start to see all the prawn has already curled up nicely. Yeah, a sign telling you it is cooked. All right, it's basically done. A very yummy sambal prawn within half an hour. If you want some sourish flavor, put in the asam paste. Yeah, done. All right, here's my very simple version of a uh, sambal prawn. Yeah, from Appa. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Our Facebook page to click like and follow button, follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up Our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.